Okay, now we're going to do a couple of problems that deal with the application of calculus to the field of economics. In this first one, we're being given a marginal cost function, and we're being asked to find the cost and the average cost functions. And you probably remember that the marginal cost function, and remember that's the, the cost of the next item to be made, um, is just the derivative of the cost function. So to find the cost function, we're going to take the antiderivative of this marginal cost function. So I'll do that right now. Let's see, that'll be x squared. We need a 2 in front of there. And the minus 10 just becomes minus 10x. And then usually when you take an antiderivative, you might put a, a constant after it, a big plus c. But in this case, we know the constant. They tell us. It says the fixed cost is $30. That's the cost when x equals 0. That's our constant. We're just going to put that in. So that's the cost function. Once you've got that, finding the average cost is pretty trivial. The average cost is just the cost function per unit or divided by x. So I'm just going to take each of these terms and divide by x. So 2x squared over x is just going to be 2x. Negative 10x over x is going to be negative 10. And 30 over x is 30 over x. And that is our average cost function. So we found the antiderivative of the marginal cost function to get the cost function, and then just divided all the terms by x to get our average cost function. Okay, this next problem is pretty similar to the last one, uh, except the names of the functions are a little bit different. We're given a marginal revenue function, and then we're asked to find the revenue and the demand functions. And just like the marginal cost function is the derivative of the cost function, the marginal revenue function is the derivative of the revenue function. So to define that revenue function, we're just going to take the antiderivative. So uh, we've got 50 minus 14x minus 12x squared. Take the antiderivative of that. We'll get 50x, let's see, minus 7x squared minus 4x cubed. I think that all works out. You can check my work by taking the derivative of this and seeing if we get the uh, marginal revenue function again. But that should be our revenue function. Now the demand function is actually the revenue function per unit or divided by x. So it's very similar to the average cost in that way. Except usually the demand function is written as p of x. But again, I'm just going to take each term here and divide it by x. So 50x over x is just 50. Negative 7x squared over x is negative 7x. And negative 4x cubed over x is negative 4x squared. So there's our revenue function. There's our demand function. All we did was take the antiderivative to get the revenue function and then divide everything by x to get the demand function.